we would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, looks like Hasbro's had another leaky leaky, so we're going to take a sneaky peeky. Um, so just this morning, uh, the next wave of vintage collection figures has been revealed in all their almighty glory. Um, next six figures, um, Hasbro hasn't released carded images of these yet. Someone has gotten a hold of these figures and put out photos before Hasbro has had a chance to reveal them. Um, and for the most part, pretty impressed. Um, it's a great looking wave. Uh, this contains the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, which is brand new mold, brand new sculpt. Uh, the first carded version of the child. Um, so we just had the child with the Mandalorian, with Din Djarin in that build up pack. Uh, and I believe all the versions of the child that are coming out are going to be slightly different, po different poses. So, and slightly different in, in nature in terms of facial, um, facial sculpt and stuff like that. Uh, we also have Zuton, who is a repack from a special action figure set from back in like 2012, I think. Uh, we have Bespin Escape Leia from Empire Strikes Back, and we have season two version of Kreev Karga. So we're gonna take a look at those. So the photos are originally from a Instagram user called Mike underscore Nads. That's M-I-K-E underscore N-A-D-S. Try to remember to put it up on the screen there. Purchased them from an eBay seller who said they uh, found them at Target. So so first off, we're looking at, we're gonna look at Boba Fett. That's the one we're all excited about. Um, there's apparently gonna be variations of this figure. Um, with a different different colored card back uh was there were uh, it sounds like the yellow version is the correct version and they were gonna they were going to release it on an orange card much like the boba fett we've seen for a long time um and the image was slightly uh zoomed in so i can't remember which one's the correction whether it's yellow or the orange but it could be um, either or I'm just I'm completely blanking right now but this is this seems to be the version that's uh, getting out there first figure looks pretty damn nice nice representation of Fett from Jedi um, it's got his blaster on the side there the image is cool I like that I think it looks quite good nice and effective really looking forward to cracking this figure open when I when it comes in Next up, we're looking at Zuton, also known as Red Snaggletooth. So we're gonna, on a nice Star Wars card. He looks pretty good too. I have had this figure for quite a long time. There doesn't appear to be any major differences uh, to the figure in comparison to the one I've had since 2012. Um, it may have even been, no, I think it was 2012. It must have been early to mid 2012 where that one came out. Uh, the card, it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, it's got a real sort of vintage, that sort of real vintage sort of painted uh, airbrush sort of paint painted look to the artwork um, oh that's all right that's fine uh, Princess Leia Bestman Escape we've only really seen digital renderings of the figure up until now um, and this one looks pretty good it's a, it's a good representation of Leia um, definitely a nice update it's been a long time since we've had this specific figure um, from this scene. The last one, I believe, was uh, Power of the Jedi back in 2000 to 2001. So it's been a very, very long time since Bespin Escape Leia has had a re-release. Uh, the card art leaves a little bit to be desired. I've seen a few people that have customized um, their own versions of this card, and there are quite, quite a lot of nice shots from within Cloud City that are nice, bright, and vibrant. Uh, this one, sort of the, you know, it's literally the best of an escape, sh her shooting it out, of, out of the Millennium Falcon as they're about to board. Um, yeah, it's 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 a little bit dark, a little bit gloomy, but, um, you know, it would have been nice to brighten that up a little bit or just completely choose a different scene, but... Never mind, it'll be nice to have that figure, though. Uh, we're looking at Grief Karga here now. It's it's still I still find it interesting that they went for a season two uh, outfit for the release of this one, um, but I guess being so close to uh, the Black Series release, they wanted to differentiate those two figures a little bit. So he looks quite good. Looks like a good figure. Nice colours. The outfit's great. Um, the card art's fantastic. You know, it's a typical sort of photoshopped image, but it looks alright. Um, doesn't look bad at all. There was probably some cool scenes they could have picked from, picked from, but um, that's okay. 
Now lastly, we're looking at the child, Grogu. Now I would have thought by now they would have been able to put Grogu as a name on the card as opposed to the child. I think they probably could have gotten away with that. Um, it's been long enough that it's not really a spoiler anymore, is it? But um, he looks quite good. I like the pram. He comes with a little frog. The stand looks cool for it. Um, it is a very small sort of figure and accessories for for its own vintage card release. Um, I kind of understand them putting it with Din Djarin, like being a bit more of an accessory. I don't know what else you could have included with this one, but I think you probably could have just put it with a, another figure or something. And But, you know, the child stuff's going to sell, so yeah, it's a cool image on the on the card there. So um, that'll keep it different from the one we're going to get with the Razor Crest later this year, um, which is specifically the child in Navarro. So, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, drop a comment, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel. Um, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to get these figures. Can't wait to do some reviews. So stay tuned to my channel for those reviews when these figures drop. So thanks for tuning in again. Until next video, may the force be with you always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.